Welcome to episode 11, Templates. To get us started, I will briefly explain what a template is. Templates are a way to save something you have created in the world into your own storage library for use at a later time. I've set up a base, basic build here that we will uh, save to our template library. So let's get to it. To begin, we will need to use the select tool on the item we wish to save. Once this is done, we will press the T key. Or alternately, we can use our little shield menu in the lower right hand corner. Either way, it'll bring you to the template window. As you can see right now, I have no templates, so we need to press the Create New button. So let's do that. And this will bring up our little Create Template window. At this point, we need to take a screenshot. This will be the image that's going to represent that template inside of our listing. And for this, I would advise trying to fill up your screen with as much of this item as you can. Kind of like this. And then we'll press the Take Screenshot button. As you can see, it fills up the majority of the window here, so we're pretty much good to go. Now we need to name the template. For this, I will call it 001 Wall. All templates currently are listed in alphanumeric order, starting with numbers. Setting things up as I have with my naming will place it near the top as my list of templates starts to grow. So 001 wall. So now we just press create and our window disappears. Now we need to press the T key once more. And we can see our list with all the basic information for that item. Voxel count, date, etc, etc. The, they're the two most important out of the list. You can see we have how many voxels and the date it was created and of course you may need to use uh, the prop number as well. Now as you can tell when I hover over it or if I click on it these buttons appear. Now let's go ahead and click this first button and this little information window uh, opens up for us. Here we can see the detailed information on that on the templates such as materials, props, etc. This is also where you can submit the template to various competitions that are going on. This is also where you can submit your template to sell it on Player Studio. But let's close this for right now. Back at the main window, you'll see the place button once you actually mouse over one of the templates. This will allow you to place the item into the world and rotate it as needed, like this. I can bring that item out like, like this, and you can see I can scroll it up and down using my mouse wheel. I hit my tilde key, tilde key or tiled key to rotate it. I can also hold down my control key and click to go into adjustment mode. And here I can mirror it in whatever direction I would like. I can also remove the air voxels that were saved with the template. I can also use this in a way that I can actually delete a version of that template item such as this by clicking the remove voxels 
So there's the possibilities of what you can do with this is pretty cool. And with this, I'll just leave it like that. And I'll remove voxels. You can see it deleted a version of it from inside of what we already had there. And if I bring this back over here and uncheck remove voxels, and I can rotate this as needed. I can also at this point hit control V because the item is still on my clipboard as a template. I can bring that up into the world and click. So I can make copies of that item. Let's reopen the template window. Now there is something that's very important here in this window here. Right, the information that's right here at the very top is very important. The, temp the template library has a default maximum capacity of 3 million voxels and can only be expanded to a larger size through the purchase of additional storage space through the marketplace using SOE cache. Now if I close this and press my B key to open up my marketplace Inside here, we can search by category, and give me one second here. Under expanders, you will find voxel. And if I click on this, it will give me the option to be able to purchase additional actual storage um, capacity. So with this right here, um, you have several different options to be able to expand that amount quite a bit. For a final note, in our previous episode we made putty voxels. They can be saved as a template and be used just as you would copying it from the ground. So if I select it, I'm going to zoom in so that I can see it on my screen here. Press T, create new, oops, putty, voxel, and I'm going to name this one 002, I'm going to take a screenshot, and now I'm going to create, and at this point, I can see there it is, and I can place this in the world just as I would any other template and it re it retains that state of having no information set to its vertices with that I hope this has helped you and I'll see you on our next tutorial in this series microvoxels <laughs> see you then